care of stop raining. But it's middle the right way. Serious, bro. Incredible, incredible um, dog registry, incredible breeders, right? So, you got to understand this, right? What's the incredible, incredible dog registry a dog registry don't register garbage a registry that register pedigree and family tree a registry that does the right thing by standards and don't make up their own standards now incredible um breeder A breeder goes by the standards. Don't change the standards to fit their needs. Right? These breeders changing the standards to fit their needs. And then you got these registries helping them. CKC. You got CKC. You got, you got UKC. You got... You got all kinds of fucking registry never fit anybody's shit. Like UK uh, AKC, right? Like AKC, right? They got breeding rights. Right? You can take that AKC non breeding register with the um ABKC register with the the um and what i mean by non-breeding rights that means it's a pet quality dog that's what i mean by that it's a pet quality dog so a pet quality dog right that the breeder do not want you breeding it right so some some breeders right some real breeders some some reputable breeders will have you spaded and neutered the dog, right? Then then you got some don't care, but they still, still give you non-breeding rights on the dog, right? They give you non-breeding rights on the dog. So that means you can't breed that dog. The dog is for pet quality. You can't make no money on it. You can't you can't make no money on it. That's a non-breeding dog. And people gotta understand what a non-breeding dog is. People gotta understand what a non-breeding dog is. non-breeding dogs. There's non-breeding dogs out there. Non-breeding. That means fucked up my damn shit. Right? You got these registries, right? Allowing people with no pedigree no family tree and registering a dog like CKC, like uh, UCA, the IOEBA, right? You got the ABKC. You got even the ABKC. You can register a dog with no pedigree, no family tree with these clubs. With these clubs, you can. To me, that is not. 
the right way to do it. But you spend that fifty dollars, they will register it. And they will register it whatever you want to register it. You call it a fucking fat pit bull. You could call it the world's largest pit bull. They will register it. And I think that's the saddest thing. Saddest thing. What y'all think? What do y'all think about that? Yeah, th this is not weed. This is a um, black and mild. About to throw this shit away. I fucked that. Sh I fucked this one up. And it's, yo, it's not hard to read papers and pedigree. It's not hard to read the family tree. Like when you pull up a sample, when you pull up Ghost, or you pull up Tara, or you pull up Hulk, right? The parents should be there. The mother, the, the sire, that's the, the father. The dam means the mother, right? And it goes by, it goes by father, right? Then his parents, right? It goes by his parents, right? After you go by his parents, right? Then you got their parents' parents, right? And then it keeps on going, right? Hold on. Let me show you something. Jeep, right? Jeep pedigree. This is Jeep pedigree right here. That's his mother. Three time winner. That's his mother, right? This is his father right here. That's his father. Right? So this is pedigree right here. This is. Real pit bull pedigree, right? You have his, you have his registered number. You have his buckskin. You have his weight. You have when he was born, right? This is what pedigree is, though. The first pedigree, the first. That's that's his parents' name. Then you go to their parents, okay, the, the father, right? Got the father, right? And then you got his mother, his father and mother, right? That's second generation. Then you got the dam, right? The mother, right? That's the dam. You got her. You got hers. Then you got, you got their family. Right, you got the father, his father, his his mother, right? It's not hard to read pedigree, bro. It ain't hard to read pedigree at all. But this is a full pedigree right here. This is four generation of pedigree. Four generation of pedigree. 
See it? Four generation of pedigree. Right? It's not hard to read pedigree, bro. Then, then if you want to click on, right? You want to click on it on the fourth generation. It goes back to the. That's the fourth generation, right? That that was, they was way back. I clicked on the fourth generation, right? This shows you what's in this dog on his father's side. A lot of Kobe. A lot of Kobe in this dog. A whole lot of that's on that's on the father side. Hold on, we're gonna go back. You see what I clicked on? I clicked on Kobe text. So you go. This is this is his father. This is his mother. What's up, man? This is his father. This is his mother. This is The grandfather. This is the grandmother. This is the great grandfather to this dog. This is the great grandma, great great grandma to that dog. It's not hard to do pedigree. It's not hard to learn pedigree. Jeep died in the fall of nineteen. 89 was y'all born in 89 who who that be talking that don't know shit was y'all born in this 89 i was born past 89 <laughs> but it's not hard to read pedigree bro but on his on his father's side right He's got a lot of Kobe in his blood. A lot. A lot of Kobe in his blood. Hold on. Let's click on his great grandfather. Jeep great grandfather. Let's click on it. See it? You see it, right? Let's click on his mother. Hold on. That's his mother. 43 pounds. She's got a lot of Eli in her jeans. A lot of Eli in her jeans. A lot of Carver, a lot of staff. A lot of staff in her jeans also. Carver Black. Fighting staffs. There was fighting staffs back in the days. And people got to understand, it's not hard to read pedigree. It ain't hard to read a pedigree. It's not hard. But you got these registries, right? You got these registries allowing. Okay, I showed you the pedigree, right? Showed you the pedigree, right? unknown right this whole this whole fucking shit hold on this whole shit right here says unknown the whole shit like it doesn't even they don't know the father they don't know the mother they don't know the um father's um father and the father's mother they don't know nothing about this but you got these registries Say the, this is was all blank and it said unknown, right? You got CKC, you got the ABKC, you got the um, 
other these mad other registries will register no, it don't even have four generations it doesn't even have four generations and they will register it that's not a credible registry that's not a credible breeder he's just breeding just to be breeding just to don't care just want puppies just to breed there's no standard there's no fucking gold there's no nothing just want to breed because the dog looks good <laughs> to me that junk is crazy because the dog look good you gonna breed You're going to breed because the dog looks good. It's got to be looking. Yo, it's got to look good. What up, yo? What up, people? What up? Well, it's got to look good, right? That's what people say. It's got to look good. Man, I know some ugly ducklings throw some fucking badass dogs. Real facts. And they have that best-ass pedigree. Best pedigree. I know some ugly ducklings. My girl Tara, she's an ugly ass duckling. Love her daily. My blue Tara, blue Tara, she's an ugly ass dog. She she threw grizzly bear. She threw um, Hallie, Hallie, um, some other dog she threw. She also threw um, Midnight. She also threw ghosts, but she got pedigree. You know, the parents, the parents' parents, the, the grandfather, the great-grandfather, right? But, yo, pedigree, right? They said pedigree don't mean nothing, right? That's in your eyes, right? That's in yours because I can take a non-pedigree dog and registered with the UKC. Yeah, you right. You ain't got no real facts. But I could take a non-pedigree dog, right, that doesn't have no pedigree, registered with the CKC, the UCA, the IOEBA, the A, the um, ABKC, the, um, there's mad registries will register dogs with no family, don't even know their father. That's like some people that don't have a father, right? And they never lay down with um, anybody. Like, I was watching a, a program, right? I was watching a program. It was Maury, right? And you know how them girls be like, Maury be saying, you're not the father, right? <laughs> you know, Maury be saying that. You're not the father, right? These girls lay down to, with 50, 100 people and don't know the father, but has the mom's pedigree, right? But doesn't have the father pedigree. So half of it is unknown. Yeah, bro www.oldbulldogs.com. You got to fill out an application. You got to, bro, you got to fill out this application. That's a must. You got to get puppy purchase contract notarized. That's a must. That's how we do it. But, yo, pedigree, bro, right? Jeep, Mayday, Batacuda, fucking uh, Macho Buck, all come from Mayday. All come from Mayday. All comes from Mayday, right? So that's their father, right? And they all came wrong. They all was wrong. They all produced great champions. And I'm not talking about that prancing around in a, with, a, with a suit and tie. I'm talking about real champions, man. Grand champion in the pit. That's what these people used to do with them. That we don't indulge in. And I got to say this. 
because there's so much animals' rights people. And this lady told me, right? This lady said, a beating stand, right? Let me ask these people in here, right? These seven people and there's a million more people that are going to watch me later. But let me ask you a question, right? If the female, right, wants to kill the male, right? Wants to kill the male. She's in heat. She's flagging. You tap on her um, her back where her tail is, and she's flagging. But she still wants to kill the male, right? She don't want no male on her. They told me breeding stand is a rape stand. Now, what do you think about that? If I want to get this, what's up, man? From L.I., right? Freeport, Hempstead, you, um, Brentwood. Yeah, my people's in L.I., man. But, yo, listen, if I had a breeding stand, right, to control this female, right, from not grabbing this male, do I breed it or I, I let her don't? I just miss the, um, the, um, when she's in heat and don't breed her, don't never breed her because she's so mean and aggressive. One lady said, it's still animal cruelty. I said, no, it's not, because I'm breeding for that fire, that animal aggressive dog. So I want that in my dogs, in the real game bred pit bull, in the real American pit bull terrier, in, in a pit bull for sure. She's going to tear them apart, real fact. Real facts. That's real facts. It, what you said again? What you said again? You said you better use that stand or she's gonna tear him apart, right? That's real facts, right? So what do you do? You wanna breed that dog, right? You're gonna use that stand no matter what. You need you need that that breeding stand. They call it a rape stand because you got females that don't understand. That don't understand dogs is your property. <laughs> they don't understand that. So if I want to breed that female to my male, my top of the line male, right? And she's so aggressive, I'm a breeder. I'm gonna take that breeding stand. I'm gonna use it. Real facts. That's what I'm gonna do. I don't know about you, but yo, that's what you're supposed to do. And I love natural dogs, you know, natural tie. I wish I could get my English bulldogs like that, but you can't get them like that. You can get some that will breed naturally, but you got to understand this, right? got to understand this. Pedigree. In my eyes and more other people eyes that I know, it's it's gold, bro. It is gold. It might not be gold to you, but it's gold to us. It might not be gold to you, but it's gold to us. I want a lab. I want it with papers, with AKC papers. They don't understand. But yo, if I get a lab, right, I don't want no dog with no family tree. I'm not feeding it. I'm not feeding it. That's me. I want that family tree. If I want that bull terrier, right, that Spud McKenzie dog. So that, it's going to take some effort. Real facts. It's going to take effort. To have that top of the line dog, that grand champion show dog, that's what you want. That grand champion um, aggressive dog, that's what you want. That Shih Tzu title dog, that grand champion Shih Tzu title, Shih Tzu three, Shih Tzu four, right? You want that, right? So that's what you want to breed for, right? Or the best weight pulling. Dog, right? The best weight pulling. You want to breed that to another weight pulling dog. 
or the best hog hunting dog in the world, right? They say in hog hunting, pedigree don't mean nothing. But to me, it does because you got some people don't put on the, the body suit, the cuts um, sleeve, right? They just let their dog get grabbed by the hog and don't care. But me, I'm going to put on that body suit. I'm going to put on that that cuts for it won't get cut. You know what I'm saying? For it won't get gutted out because dogs get gutted out for hogs. There's some aggressive hogs also out there that will destroy a dog. Real facts. But, yo, you want that top of the line, bro. You want that dog that when grand champion in this, grand champion in that, right? Best in show, right? You want that best in show. You want that, right? But then you got these people with the CKC, right? The ones that um, the AKC do not allow you to uh, register it as breeding quality, right? Then you go to another registry because another registry don't honor this other registry. They don't honor AKC, um, you know, non-breeding. They don't honor um, this. There's only two registries that does this. That's the OREBA and the AKC. Okay. They do. If the breeder don't want you to breed it, you should spade it and neuter it. You should be an honest person and spade it and neuter the dog. If the breeder don't want you to breed that dog, right? Don't go to another registry and register it and then breed it. I see it. That that's be happening all the time in the world. That's why there's so much CKC dogs. Because CKC will register anything. CKC will register anything. Anything. Let's see if I could call up you CKC. Let's see if I could call up CKC. See if they still around. Let's see. Let's see if we could call up CKC and ask them, right? And ask them. I'm gonna ask them. Can I register? Yeah, bro. I'm gonna make a second video about them. Also, I'm, I'm gonna call them tomorrow. I'm gonna call them tomorrow. That's gonna be the second video, right? Because I called them before and asked them if I don't have no um, no literature, no family tree, would they register my dog? And they told me, yeah. Oh, see, it's closed. A lot of registries, eight to five. Another person was telling me about Bonafide, right? I used to think Bonafide was a good registry, but... What's up, man? But, yo, I used to think Bonafide was a good registry until... You can't even call Bonafide. You can't even call them. You cannot even talk to nobody on... You can't even call them at all. Real facts. I think that's the saddest shit to me. Right? To me, that's not a rep, uh, a credit register. Right? And another thing these people doing, right? I saw, right? Right? I could type in UKC papers, right, for sale, 
right? Just for the papers, not the dog, right? These people is selling their that bona fide doesn't have a um, number. Just like there's some breeders, so-called breeders, that they supposed to be business people don't have no numbers. You see this right here? Hold on, you can't see it. Hold on, let me. You see what it says? Fake papers under UKC. You see that, right? You see that, right? Fake papers that you could buy, people are selling just the papers. This is how this honest people are in this world. Just the, the how are you going to sell a dead dog papers to somebody, right? A dead dog papers to somebody to put it on their dog. To me, that's the weirdest thing. That's un, that's That's fraud to me. That, that is really fraud. Fraud. You can't see you can do that. And then boom, right? You sign you sign the back. Now he's got them papers and he's gonna register that dog that doesn't have no literature, no family tree. Now it got literature and now got family tree. That's another thing UKC be doing because they do not have, right, the picture of the dog. They don't have a tattoo of the dog under the um, registry form, under the registry database, right? They don't have this. They do not have this, a database for to allow these people to put pictures of on the papers, right? And they do not have breeding rights, co-owner rights. They don't have pet rights, right? And the pet rights, right, should be spaded and neutered. That's what pet rights supposed to be. That means you got a pet, you paid 2500 1500 for pet rights. UKC and the OREBA does it. They do it. They have that. Right, but yo, some people do not honor. Right, they don't honor the breeders' contract. They don't honor, and the, some breeders don't. Yes, I am the master of all bulldogs, and I prove this message. But yo, if you think about this, right? Tomorrow we're gonna call up these registries. We're gonna ask them, right? So-called business, right? These businesses, right? Yo, I'm going to ask a couple of them. Can I register my dogs with no pedigree, no family tree, right? NKC does it. CKC does it. UCA does it. The IOEBA does it. There's a lot of registry that does it. But the, the AKC does it. And the OREBA does it. And the FCI don't. The FCI is international um, papers. That's European papers. European FCI. So if you get an FCI, that's the top of the line papers. That's a credible paper. If I get an FCI, I wouldn't want to register it with no UKC. I don't want to register it with the... Um, U-C-A or the A-C-A or any other registry because I got F-C-I. I got European credibility. You hear we where the dogs come from? That's what's up, bro. But yo, boom, bro. Real facts, bro. You want credible papers, bro. Credible, credible papers, bro. I don't want no uncredible papers. And people keep saying they got banned dogs, right? A banned dog is game bred pit bull, 
to any type of master. That's the ingredients. Every dog has ingredients. Every dog has ingredients. The Argentino Dogo has ingredients. All dogs has ingredients. That's the only way we get down. Real facts. It's got to have that pedigree. You might not like it, but that's you. That's your opinion. My opinion is real. Your opinion is real, too. If you don't like dogs with no pedigree, right, they should be spaded and neutered. That's my opinion. If you don't like it, that's on you. I think dogs with no family tree, they should be spaded and neutered, bro. Even cats shouldn't be having no, yo, shouldn't be breed without no papers and no family tree. Credible um, registries and credible breeders will understand this. And they will have a contract that, well, you got to get it notarized if they don't want you to breed it. And then you got to honor that 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 contract because it's notarized. He could take you to court and take your dog back or tell you you got to spade it that dog or neutered that dog. And that's real facts. That's an honest person. That's a reputable, credible breeder. That's a credible, yeah, real fact, boom. That's a credible breeder. That's a legit breeder. A legit breeder is not going to sell you UKC papers without the dog. Or another thing they're doing with UKC. They say they have, okay, they'll have five puppies. Five puppies, right? They will tell UKC... They have 10. I don't know why they do that, but they have five puppies. So they they selling the other five. I know that too. That's a lot of people doing that too. And you you could look at this. There's a lot of people that's selling UKC papers without the dog. You can look at that. And that's real facts. There's a lot of there's a lot of people selling papers without the dog. Come on, you think that's credible? You think that's real? You think that's fucking not that's not an honest person? That's not an honest person, bro. And you want to fuck with these people that is non-honest? You like Fake people, you like you don't like the real people, you like the, the the dishonest people. You must like the dishonest people. You must. You you must. I don't like dishonest people. I've been scammed one time. Man told me it was an Eli dog. When I got it off the plane, it's a fucking blue dog. It's a blue dog. That was. Um, Blue Lady, that was back in 2008, that was back in 2008, and that's another thing, right, people think, right, oh, my paper says it's a pit bull, so it's a pit bull, because UKC says it, man, UKC I could take AKC staff and register single registry with the UKC as American Pit Bull Terrier. Would you say? I agree. It's a different in realness that Lee and James is the sire and real facts. And it, what did you say? Anybody would want something from that lines, right? Anybody, right? Say if they because they champions, right? You want them, you want that line. But there's uncredible people in the world, fit people in the world will sell you them dogs' names to you 
and um, that's not where the dog come from. You understand what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? You comprehend what I'm saying? Some people can't comprehend because I think some people, you know, dropped out of high school or dropped out of real facts. You got to thank you, sir. But yo, you got to understand this, bro. You really got to understand this, right? I want a credible dog, man. I want a credible breeder. I want, I want the pizzas. You might don't want them, but I want them. And me personally, if I see, like I had that that paper, the ADBA, right? And it was a um, Kirby's Big Mac and the mother. When I did my research, mother, right, was a um, a staff, right, a staff. So this Kirby um, Big Mac bred to a staff, and that Kirby Big Mac looked like um, American Bulldog. That's what it looked like. It looked like American Bulldog bred to a staff to get Blue Lady, right? And I did my research. I did my research with AKC, and it was a staff. So it was the staff. The mother was a staff. American staff for Shout Terrier, right? What? It on the top it had Chevy and Wampa. That ADBA will register it as American Pit Bull Terrier because they did something in the loop and lied in the loop to get these papers, lied to get these papers at under the breed American Bill Terrier. You get what I'm saying? So me personally, I, I'm, I'm saying to myself, this is, this is some bogus shit. This is not a pit bull. This is not an Eli dog. This is not a Jeep dog. This is not a, a Mayday dog. This is not a fucking, this is a, a Gotti slash staff that's what this is it's a hybrid that's a hybrid so i took that female bred it to half pit bull half um man dog dog right the mother the father was a band doggy, band doggy, excuse me, not a band do- dog, a band doggy. Let me correct myself because a band doggy is mixture of all dogs with pedigree. That's a band doggy. Now, that, that's a different ingredients, right? But people got to understand this. All dogs have ingredients. All breeds have ingredients. This is part one. We're going to call these registries tomorrow and ask them, can I register my dogs that doesn't have no family tree? I just wanted to see because my, all my dogs have family tree and papers and pedigree. But, yo, I want to see if I can you call up the, the USA and see if I can register my dog because it doesn't have no family tree. They will register it. I guarantee you they will. Because they registered somebody else. Real facts, bro. That's real facts. That's real facts. It's not it's so it's not a purebred dog to me. And purebred dogs is line bred and inbred to make the dog come out the same. My dogs is so much inbred, so much inbred. Real facts. Lady is in them pedigree so many times. So many times. Y'all gonna understand this, man. What makes a dog and what make don't get me wrong, mutt dogs is good. Pet dogs is good. Call them that. Stop trying to use pit bull as a blanket term. Stop trying to use OD English Bulldog as a blanket term. Stop trying to use a Lapaha blue-blooded bulldog, a blanket term. 
for your creation, your mixture, your way of a bulldog, your way of a terrier, your way. Make up your own name. Make up your own name. Stop putting it in, in these categories that doesn't fit these standards. So if it doesn't fit that standard, it's a different breed. It's a different breed if it doesn't fit that standard. You understand that? It's a different breed. Like Remison Bulldogs, right? Remison Bulldogs, right? It's got Rockwell in it. That's why it's got black and tan. It's got Rockwell. Like, if you knew the man that started the Remison Bulldog, right, he would tell you himself, it's not an OD. It's not nothing that. Just like the man that started Pacific Bulldogs, he would tell you it's not an OD. It's his own creation of a Bulldog. It's his own creation of a Bulldog. I am the master of all bulldogs, man. And I'll see you in part two. Blessings to everybody, man. I ain't going nowhere.